Hey guys, welcome to back to some more LA Noir and part 10 of our playthrough of the game. Uh, I just want to say at this point, big apologies for the background noise. I have got a vertical stand for my PS4 Pro that's got some fans that will cool it. It does get very, very hot, um, so they're, they're actually essential. Um, the fans just to just to keep it nice and cool. So there's a slight buzz in the background when it's silent and what have you But generally that's not going to be a problem, but a big thank you for all of the support so far Sorry, there wasn't an episode last Saturday um, I was doing having me break of YouTube um, As you guys know and we now have the green screen which isn't going to come into play much in this series But uh, it will uh, come into, into play uh, when I'm talking to you guys right at the start. I'm really, really enjoying this series, and make sure you go and check out the Splinter Cell series on Tuesdays and Fridays um, for, for more, you know, great games, if you like, and, and hopefully you guys will enjoy that. And, yeah, let's get into this episode, this case, whatever you want to call it. Let's get into it. <laughs> Ah, Phelps. I was just discussing with Finbar here how well you were doing. Have a seat. Yeah, my real name. And you could just forget all about it. You boys have a new case. A poor Hispanic woman murdered near City Hall and left lying naked in an alleyway. Another naked woman, sir? Yes. We seem to have had quite a run of them since the Dahlia fiend first struck. Phelps is politely trying to hint that he thinks the Mendes case is hopeless. Well, young Phelps, you win some, and you lose some in police work. You're happy with the Mueller case, sir? Over the moon, boys! The DA couldn't be more pleased with the evidence, the witness, and the lack of an alibi. Now, get out there and catch me another sinner. Um, sorry about the little pop-up there. Um, let's go. Let's go and see what we can do. Lisa between Los Angeles and Alameda. You're kidding. The next one will be opposite Central Station. Count yourself lucky, Phelps. Most guys would kill to land a case so close to their desk. Yeah, it means they can pop in to hit the office supply of hooch whenever they need it. You know, that ain't a bad idea. That is not a bad idea at all, Phelps. So hopefully you guys are good and still enjoying the series. Oops. Yeah, um, the views are very consistent on the series. They're not, it's not my most watched series, but I do enjoy doing it a lot. And, you know, once a week is, is a nice amount to do for this game. And hopefully you guys enjoy that. Obviously, they're much longer episodes than what I usually have on the channel, so... I appreciate Thank you guys. I'll take the time to watch the them. I'll take you through. So we have another naked woman. All the joys. Oh, for Christ's sake. Brothers, Pinker. The cause of death is pretty apparent. We thought we'd best wait for you when you're ready. Lacerations on the neck would indicate a great deal of force. That was really quite horrific. Kiss the blood, BD. Another wedding ring torn from the finger. No skin under the fingernails. old. But why the library card? Did he want us to find it? Mm, you can't look at anything else on our own. Never mind. 
Alright, we're done there. The evidence in the Mueller case was solid. I'm not convinced about Mendez. The best way to get away with murder is to pin it on somebody else. I'll bet a month's salary this is a copycat. Strangled, battered, naked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know the M.O. So does every jerk who kills his wife and girlfriend looking for a way out. I've spoken to Brown. He still believes the Dahlia perp has medical experience. Four women, all murdered, all put on display, all with messages. Mueller had no message. Look, Phelps, this is getting us nowhere. Anything for us to go on, Mel? Head injuries from contact with road, bruising from a small man's shoe, further blunt force trauma to the occipital region at the base of the skull. Could have been fatal, but clear signs of strangulation would seem to rule it out. Lipstick appears to be a similar color to the other cases. I'll see if I can nail down a brand. Mm. What's that? Tie? She took a blow to the head like the others. She was probably unconscious when strangled. Any of this is of any use, but uh, yeah, we'll get more fair share of naked women in this game, aren't we? So, apologies once again. This is a family friendly channel, but I cannot promise that this game will be family friendly at all times. But you, you know, most people that watch it should be mature enough to watch it and be alright about it. May as well follow the trail. So what's over here then? Is that a hat? Antonia. Huh. Same as the library card. Still more stuff to, to look at. What's this? Oh, that's a blood trail. No light. Is there anything behind the tree? No. I don't think any of this will be of any use. What about that? Nope. Hmm. I'm struggling here. Unless there's someone else on our body, but I don't think there is. Unless there's anything else over here, is there? The knee's gone all the way down there. I guess there's just blood leading all the way, isn't there? Uh huh. Shoe there. It's not what I want. I want the shoe. Proximity to the scene plus the blood stains. No way is this coincidence. Still more blood. We kept the area pristine for you boys. Let's check it out. It's a key. House keys strung up like bait on a hook. It's not a trying to be here somewhere. Probably all the way to City Hall, that crazy son of a bitch. It's got to be a code or a cipher. Two five three. This is crazy. I don't remember this. I really don't remember this. Where are you taking us? So now we have to go up. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. 
time to go. I always find it ridiculous how quickly he goes up these. <laughs> There's more blood. So, into here. Empty. Where is all of this meant to be taking us? Clearly wants us to find these things. He's left them for us. There you go, Phelps. You got a new MO. I told you what I got. Or he might just be getting more confident. Enameled and, and gold plated. This was precious to her. the pipe. This is ridiculous. The trail points up. This is ridiculous. But it's, it's really creepy. Uh, I love it. Oh dear. That's a ring. Pulled from the finger and hung up here. What's the significance? Still more. Looks as though the killer was decorating with this. That's a bag. <clears throat> and there's the other half of the card. Son of a bitch wants her identified. Mrs. Antonia Maldonado, 712 North Hill Street, downtown. brings us back down to the ground as if it knew that I didn't want to have to do that. Um, let's make him drive. You can drive. So yeah, hopefully you guys are enjoying this. That was certainly very weird, to say the least. But hopefully... It was Mrs. Putin... Maldonado, right? That's affirmative. All right, so find out what's going on. Get him. We've closed the case. Ah, uh, Rusty's razor, of course. I don't want to question your tried and tested techniques, Detective Galloway. But doesn't the DA require sound casework before he'll close the book? Not if he's got a confession. And, you know, there's ways of getting it. I'm sure. Yeah, Rusty's way is there. Always the same. It's always the husband. But I, yeah, I'm I'm with Cole on this one. I think there's a serial killer on the loose. Right then. So what was it again? Two. Two five three. I think it was, wasn't it? Sorry, can I help you? LAPD, ma'am. Detective Phelps and Galloway. Does Mrs. Maldonado live here? Yes, she does. I'm Mrs. Barbara Lepente, the owner of this boarding house. Is there a problem? I'm afraid so, ma'am. Do you mind if we come in? Is there somewhere we can discuss this? Of course. Follow me through to the parlor. Wipe your feet as you come in, detectives. It's this way. Mrs. Maldonado was found dead this morning. Dead? Oh, no. She can't be. I'm afraid she was murdered, ma'am. We need to take a look at her things. I can't believe it. A person seems so alive, and then they're gone. Antonia's room is upstairs, last door on the left. Thank you. We'll be back shortly. Uh, excuse us a moment, ma'am. 
Hmm. Let's go. Are we waiting for? Shut up. Last room on the left, wasn't it? This looks a bit smoky, or is it just a window? A smashed window explains why the place looks tossed. Don't go out there. Hmm, what's this? So someone broke in using this thing instead of a crowbar. Wonder where it was taken from. Anything else in here? Charm bracelet wasn't among the crime scene evidence. stuff if you guys wanted to read that then uh, make sure you just pause it I know do we go downstairs and talk to the, the woman maybe we do we have some questions ma'am if you're up to it yes detective I'll do my best do you have any idea who might have wanted to hurt Mrs. Maldonado? That rat of her husband, Angel. She was serving him divorce papers. If I killed every wife to serve me papers, I'd be a mass murderer. Are you being flippant, young man? No, ma'am. What can you tell us about Angel Maldonado? She married him when she was 17. He was cruel to her, very cruel. She was a good girl, a little on the religious side, but a good girl. What time did Antonia go out yesterday? She left around nine. Do you know where she went? No, I, I have no idea. She was a good girl, but she didn't confide in me. A nosy old hag like you knows everything about the people who live under her roof. Where did she go? I think she went to a bar. She's been drinking quite a lot lately. This bar have a name? El Dorado Bar. It's a Latino place on North Los Angeles Street. That's only a couple of blocks from where we found the body. You've had a break-in? No. That can't be true. You're being economical with the truth, Mrs. Lepenti. What do you have to hide? I have no idea what you are talking about. So Antonia lost her keys and used an iron bar to jimmy the back window? I heard a noise in the early hours of the morning. I thought it might be a raccoon at the milk bottles. It'd be very bad for business if this news got out. I have a reputation to protect. Antonia and her husband were estranged? Yes. She moved here after she separated from her husband two months ago. But Antonia still wore a wedding ring? She wore the wedding ring and a necklace. She always wore a religious necklace. That's about all of her jewelry. Mm. What about her bracelet? I don't know anything about it. In her wedding photo, she's displaying a charm bracelet. That thing? She never wore it. He gave it to her. She always kept it in that wooden jewelry box. Thanks, ma'am. You've been very helpful. Pay a call to that husband of hers. Lock him up and throw away the key. 
Well, we go all them right we there. Front angel, seeing as the finger's pointing right at him, or we could check out the El Dorado one. I think we should go to the bar first, and then the husband after. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. And where so let's go to the let's go to the bar. Let's do it. Yeah, I think uh, getting all the evidence and asking them stuff before going there. Uh, I thought I was coming on strong with the ex-wives line. Sometimes you have to be firm to get the information you need. God damn it, ain't that the truth? Party members have reached the screen with subversive propaganda. Yeah, I thought it was a bit strong actually. What he said, and yeah, well, it worked. It worked as Rusty said, and yeah, good stuff. I'm really enjoying this so far. It's good to be back on this game. I've played it in a couple of weeks now, so it is nice to to play it and and to to get through these cases. And I know a lot of you guys are enjoying it, so thank you very much for that. Here we are then, El Dorado Bar. What can I do, in Galloway? Diego Aguilar. How can I help? You worked the bar last night. Yeah, me and a temp guy from the agency. Did you have a woman in here last night, 21 years old, Hispanic, drinking heavily? We have a lot of ladies like that in here. But yeah, I know who you mean. Antonia Maldonado. Oh, what did she do? She was murdered last night. Oh, shit. Do you know her well? Was she a regular? Hell no. She was good and tight last night, complaining about her old man. It's a story you get used to working in a bar. She was so hammered last night, she left a letter on the bar. I'll show you. So, uh, how's your tuna fish salad? Hmm. Divorce papers? Did you open them? No need to. She was shouting about it and waving the letter around. Said she was gonna show him. Can you remember what jewelry she was wearing? She had a necklace. Some kind of religious thing, I think. You know, the temp guy would have more of an idea. She took the beer he served her and cried into it all night. What time did she leave? Can't say for sure. Where did she go? Give me something or the LAPD will start getting interested in this place. Take it easy. She went to the cab, okay? And my phone was out of order. The closest one I knew was at the fruit market across the street, so I suggested she try there. She seemed reluctant. Did Antonia say where she was going when she left? She said she was going to serve the papers on the husband. Said that would take the smile off his face. If you ask me, she was scared. And the drink was for Dutch courage. Hmm. Does she attract any believe interest? Them. An extremely drunk young woman? What do you think? She managed to scare them off, though. Thanks. You've been a big help. No problem. Hey, get the guy, will you? We'll do our best. One last question. What size shoe do you take, Mr. Aguilar? A broad nine. I have wide feet. Fair enough. He drove me up to Mulholland and we did some. Is there anything we can look at over here? Or... I mean, there's no music, so I'm assuming we uh, have to go over to that fruit market wherever it is. So, yeah, we'll get him there way. to go we there. Uh, it doesn't look like we're finished at El Dorado Bar yet, but that's fine. Oh, it's only over there, isn't it? Oh, <laughs> uh, well, there's anything to the divorce? I've been through three things. No big deal. After a while, you just numb yourself to the experience. But Angel, he's a young Latino man. Who would hurt his sense of who he is? He'd see himself as a failure, a woman taking control over his life. Then she fronts him and he snaps. Works for me. 
that makes Angela Killer as well as a piece of shit. Uh, he is classic. He really is. Oh dear. It shouldn't take too long to load. Shut. Great. We'll need to come back later, Phelps. Maybe somebody here saw Antonia the night she died. Is that, is that all we're doing? Can you drive to yeah. this one? Well, I'm guessing we're going to the Maldonado residence then. Very weird. Very weird how this has been set up, but... I wonder if it's a DLC case. How about we drop in on the husband instead? See if your gut is right. I'll take a bar over a husband every day of the week. Hmm. I don't know about this one. I really don't. Well, see, we didn't get the, the, the little video at the start that shows some, the, the murder. Here we go. Where are we going? It was 253, wasn't it? I'm pretty sure. Um, so I wonder... Well, let's see what the number on the door is. 201. So keep going. Phelps, this could turn ugly. Forget about knocking. Let's take our boy by surprise. 304, apparently. Hey, what the fuck? LAPD, motherfucker, you're under arrest. Who's that guy? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was quite funny. 100 pounds of white. <laughs> Damn, they got some decent shots in there. <gasps> Cop these sons of bitches, Phelps. LAPD, you two are under arrest. Call for some backup, Finbar. Galloway, badge number 564. I need a prowl car at the apartment building 330 North Hill Street. Two suspects need transporting to Central. Your wife has been murdered, Angel. Antonia? Oh, God, no! Where were you last night, Angel? I was here with my brother the whole night, God damn it! You think I could kill my own wife? Mm. get the whole place of going over and talk to the neighbors. And Phelps, I don't care that you just got smacked in the head. You don't call me Finbar. <laughs> I did think that was quite funny, actually. Just picked fruit market. I wonder if Angel gets all his groceries from this place. This will take some explaining. Maybe one of the neighbors took notice of Angel's movements. He's got no alibi, he's toast. What do you want? LAPD. We're making some inquiries. Make it quick. I worked nights. So you weren't home last night? No. I was at work. You know nothing about Mrs. Maldonado fighting with her husband? Those two? They're always screaming the place down. Thanks.
I know nothing more about their business. I want a dog again. Ah, never mind. No good. Nobody here. I'm playing with my kids. <clears throat> LAPD, were you here last night? Yeah. My uh, wife and I are separated, and uh, I had the kids last night. I put them to bed early and went to bed myself. Thanks. That was terrifying. <laughs> oh, dear. Hello. LAPD, ma'am. Did you hear a disturbance last night? Yes. Yes, I did. Mrs. Maldonado lit out of here and her husband ran out after her. You saw this, Miss? Aranda. I had the door open a crack. Did you see Mr. Maldonado come back inside after he ran out? No. I didn't. Thanks. We'll be in touch. I kept thinking you were going to call that one a nosy old hag too, Phelps. Well executed restraint. <laughs> I'm executing restraint right now. Finbar. Right then. Time to go. Now oh, where do we go? That's the question. Come on, sprint a bit, cool. <laughs> oh dear. You're behind the wheel. Just picked fruit market again. We'll go go there and then cross over the road if we're not quite there yet. Car 11 K, car 11 K, come in. Come on, you. Hurry up, Rusty. You can drive. Car 11 K, car 11 K, come in. KGPL, 11 King, over. Sergeant Dennis Brown urgently request your presence at Central. A new letter has been found. 11K en route. Hmm, so we're going to Central, Central Station now. And not the one in Newcastle. Nobody's come up with that joke yet. It's probably because Nonny is a, a true northerner. <laughs> Captain is waiting for you downstairs with Baker. Let's follow him. He knows where to go. Time to go. You're the reason, brothers and sisters. Ship. Is it this way? I think it might be in here. Boys, come on in. Phelps, have you met Finnis Brown? Pleased to meet you, sir. This information is confidential and doesn't leave this room. The new letter was left in the back seat of a cab. The driver thinks it was put through the window and not left by a customer. We're checking all the spares back 24 hours regardless. Good. Like the previous letters, it's been assembled from headlines and type from the Times and Examiner, then glued to an envelope. What is the other note? This one? That's also new. A poem, hand-typed. Do you mind if I take a look? Go ahead. We've been over both documents pretty carefully. They've been wiped with gasoline, so there's no chance of prints. That's the message from the Celine Henry case. Keep upon thy soul by virtue of this curse. This is That's why we called you in. Do you think it's original? Not unless he's a genius. You like this nut job's poem? No, I like Shelley. It was written at least 100 years ago. Shelley? Sure, I knew that. You see, Fitz? <laughs> I told you oh, this dear. is a bright boy. 
Sure, but what has it got to do with the case? Prometheus Unbound. Prometheus was a titan, a superhuman character who defied the gods to bring fire to humanity. The Dahlia guy believes he's Superman. Your guess is as good as mine. One thing for sure is that he's educated. What about the link to the Henry case? He could have got the wording from the papers. As you said, he is fiendishly clever and takes pleasure in taunting us. What's happening with the Maldonado case? We had the husband in custody. We haven't interviewed him yet. Went upstairs then, lads, and see if we can break him. Fair enough. Let's go. Someone ought to take him home. We got a stakeout down on second later tonight. Proved your attitude, Angel. What do you want me to say? I was with Antonia the night she died, but she left the apartment, and that was the last time I saw her. So your wife paid you a visit last night. What time was that? Late, around midnight, maybe. She didn't stay long. You're lying, Angel. You went after her. I think you killed her. You're out of your mind. My brother will tell you I was at home. We have a witness who confirms that you are arguing, that your wife ran out, that you followed her, and didn't come back. I know this looks bad, but it's not true. We argued, all right, but she went out, and I went out after her, and she jumped in a car on the corner. There was a car waiting for her? Can you describe the driver? Not the driver. It was too dark. But the car. It was a brown Ford Coupe. When we found your wife, her jewelry had been removed. Was she wearing her religious medallion last night? Sure. She always wore that. Looks like somebody broke into her room and stole her things there, too. Why'd you do it, Angel? What the hell are you talking about? I was home with Hippolito. I think they always meant to believe You and your that. wife weren't getting along. She was divorcing you. Is that why you killed her? We fought, yeah, but we weren't getting a divorce. I don't believe you, Angel. She'd been granted a decree nice side. She pushed you too far, and you lashed out. I told you. I wouldn't accept a divorce. The judge had set a date. You were going to be paraded in front of the whole city for your cruelty to her, Angel. Antonia. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> she came in drunk, out of her mind. She doesn't normally drink. She was looking around in her bag. Said she wanted to serve me papers. Me, her own husband. So I slapped her down. She ran out. That's the truth. What size shoe do you wear, Angel? Size eight. What difference does that make? Your wife has been brutally murdered. So how do you explain your shirt being covered in blood? You found that? I cut myself shaving. Angel, I'm not going to waste any more time on this. Give me something, or I'm going to have you charged. My brother, Hippolito, he said some bad things about Antonia last night. So I had to sock him one. We got into it. Keep talking. She said she came from the El Dorado bar. And? It's not one of my places. We used to buy fruit at the market down the street. But the creep there was always running his eyes all over my wife. What's the name of this fruit market? Just picked fruit. Ord Street downtown. One last question, Angel. Do the words kiss the blood mean anything to you? No. Sounds sick to me. You're not in the clear by any means, Angel. You're going back into a cell. You should think about whether you have anything else you need to share with us. Time to go. 
Seems like a nice boy, putting all those hoodlums in jail. I swear, people are really creepy talking about uh, Cole. <laughs> Can you drive to this to one? Go. Exactly Let's go to going? just picked fruit market. And then back to the El Dorado. And hopefully we're near in conclusion of this case. Another letter? I thought the letter was from a nut. These letters? Brown and Hanson believe they are genuine. From him. And now we sent another. You know, I really hate this fuck. This Black Dahlia guy. Have you seen the body? The fucking case just gnaws away to the guts. Hollywood. Every prom queen from every fucking hick town in America turns up here. Where do they end up? Gutted on the fucking sidewalk. Interesting, and hopefully it'll be open this time. And it is. Rusty still lost his hat. Just don't know how to dance to bebop. LAPD, Detective Phelps and Galloway. Clem Feeney, what can I do for you? Did you happen to see a young woman last night? 21 years old, Hispanic? Sure, she came by last night. Why do you ask? She was wearing a necklace? I didn't notice. You weren't paying attention, Feeney? Hey, you're getting the wrong idea. Exactly how much fruit do you sell here after midnight, Clem? Uh, look, not much. I sell the odd bottle on the side to the after-hours crowd. Look, I don't want any trouble. I'm just trying to make a buck. The young lady arrived around midnight? Yeah, something like that. Used the phone for a cab and then left. You already knew Mrs. Maldonado, didn't you, Clem? Sure, I met her before. She seemed like a nice lady. Her husband went apeshit one day when he caught me talking to her. She hadn't been back until last night. Where did she go from here? She wanted a cab, but I couldn't get her one. I was about to offer to drive her, but a car pulled up and she got into that. Can you describe the car? Brown Ford Coupe, I think. She seemed to know the guy. Do you mind if we look around? Why would you want to do that? Because we say so. I guess you can. Don't you have to get a court order or something? I have rights. Clem? Shh. Mm -hmm. Jesus. No wonder he stays open late at night. People have to get their vitamins. Check through this stuff before we get back out there. There was a crowbar over here. I cut someone who was already dead. It's a typical power thing. Once the stiff is dead, the creep usually feels they can do whatever they like. They must have seen it during the war. That's a type. So what are we hiding in here? This thing needs a combination. Aha, aha, aha. Um, it was two, now was it, was it five or three, I don't know, um, 
What was it on again? It was on Doc Patton. 253. I should have trusted me instincts. I've been talking about that the whole time, haven't I? Two. Oops. Five. And three. And there we go. This fruit stall punk gets about ten seconds to explain before I pull his fucking arms off. He'll run. No doubt I'll have to drive. God damn it, get after him, Cole! The fruit guy's getting away, Phelps! Damn it. I don't know if we failed anything yet, but this could certainly be the start of it. Where did he go? Yeah, he escaped. Ah, uh, annoying. Sorry about that guys, just didn't know where he'd gone. Uh, and then once I realised it was... It wasn't good. Anyway. This fruit stall punk gets about ten seconds to explain before I pull his fucking arms off. Clip! So here we go. Second time, look me. God damn it, get after him. Time to go. I'll try to shoot out his tires. Wish me luck. I should have grabbed him when we had the chance, Phelps. When we had the chance, we didn't know he was our guy. Don't go to sleep on me. Get me back in close. Strange that he'd leave a trail of blood right back to his own market. Maybe he wanted to be caught. A lot of them do. He's a good driver. We'll pull it that way. It's almost too perfect, isn't it? There's no such thing as too perfect. Take him, Cole. Spin him out. I'm trying to shoot out his tires. Wish me luck. You're a sick man, Clem. We need help. Mm. Outstanding job on this case, gentlemen. The poor woman can now rest in peace. I'll pay the fiend a personal visit myself and remind him the crime in this city does not go unpunished. When they finish with him at the receiving hospital, we'll have him up before the grand jury. I have a meeting this afternoon with the mayor, lads. I'll be sure to mention your names. Now, on your way. <laughs> uh, it's a classic. It's a classic. Well, I think that's it then. Yeah. We got all the clues. We answered one of the questions wrong. Everything else was pretty good, and we got five stars, which is fantastic. Given the size of Clem's stash, it was a wonder you didn't catch him red-handed at the El Dorado. Yeah, I guess, I guess we we might have been able to, but 
never mind that is where we are going to leave this episode if you have enjoyed that make sure you do leave a like down below it really does mm, i feel like we've got a bit of a yes we'll watch this Why first guys giving it to the doggies they're riding in trucks numbskull while you're marching they look pretty badly beat up yeah they do it then Scuttlebutt says it's pretty hard going down south. Well, we'll find out soon enough. Recon always leads. How can we fail, Skip, with the shadow leading the show? What the fuck is a shadow? Lieutenant Phelps, the shadow of death. What the fuck are you talking about? He's a quiet fucker, Sarge. You never hear the bastard coming. You're sitting there, field stripping a cigarette, and suddenly he's there looking down on you. Why do you think we keep saluting that Jap loving son of a bitch? He's bad juju. That's enough out of you three. Bad juju? Where were you dragged up? A swamp? Fair enough. Um, but no, that's where we're going to leave it. If you have enjoyed that, make sure you do leave a like down below. It really does mean a lot for me. It really does help out the channel as well. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.